Hello, Ants Philly viewers. Recently, I got a question from viewer Dreams in Song that asked, how do I find the balance between being myself and not being a social outcast? Let's talk about this for a second. First, we need to frame what you're saying a social outcast is. This is a really big term to throw around and it has a lot of really negative connotations. If you're someone who really values your alone time and doesn't like going out to clubs and parties every single night, that's totally fine. That doesn't make you a social outcast. And if someone's making you feel like a social outcast just for being the way you are, they're not a very good friend. If you've got melty green skin that smells like onions and you're 16 feet tall and no one wants to be around you because of it, then you might be a social outcast. But I'm going to hazard a guess that even someone who has all these problems working against them could probably still find some people to hang out with who'd like them for who they are. So let's work on the deeper problem here. Feeling like a social outcast probably means that you're having trouble making friends that like doing the same things that you do. If you're a quieter, more introverted person, there are lots of people out there like you. If you're just into nerdier topics or TV shows or games and your friends aren't into that stuff, try to meet some people who do like those things, whether it's joining a club or finding people to talk to online. If you're wanting to be social but you don't like big parties or social gatherings, there are plenty of people who would love to have a quieter movie night or even a laptop party where everyone watches YouTube videos together or even quietly scrolls through Tumblr together. If you really are just someone who needs their time alone, my best advice is just to make sure that you are making time for your friends as well. Sometimes you can start to feel like a social outcast if you're just constantly saying no immediately to any plans you're invited to. If you say no enough times, people start to take the hint and they stop inviting you to things at all. This can also lead to that feeling of being a social outcast because you're not being invited to things and the whole thing is just a vicious downward spiral. Instead of always defaulting to staying home, try to compromise and maybe go out with your friends one night a week or two nights a week or really talk to your friends about the sorts of plans that you're making. Friends are people who genuinely do care about your well-being. If your friends are a little more rambunctious than you are, try to see if you can get them to alternate, going out once a week and maybe staying in together once a week. Hopefully this advice will help you feel like you're staying true to who you are, but also not losing friends in the process. Let me know if you have any more questions you'd like me to answer in the comments below, and until next time, it's game over.